here in this class let us have a look on the relationship between stress strain elastic potential energy density see coming to that uh, angle modulus in previous class we have discussed about angle modulus angle modulus y equal to stress upon strain so this stress upon strain can be written as for stress can be written as force upon area and strain can be written as length upon length or length upon or change in length by original length l by capital l so this can be written as f capital l by a into small l so y equal to f capital l by a into small l so f is equal to so if you multiply this y al by capital l so this is force f and if you consider the uh, infinity small work small work done d w equal to f dot small elongation dl due to application of force there is a small angle elongation that is dl so that is equal to f is nothing but y al upon l into dl so here this can be written as here y is constant a is constant and l is constant so for remaining let us integrate integral of 0 uh, to l l into dl so we will have y a upon l after integration we will have l square by 2 so this can be rearranged as y a l upon l into l by 2 so this is the work done and that is y a l upon l by 2 and here y a l upon l is nothing but so d w is equal to f into l by 2 or this can be written as 1 by 2 f dot l or uh, the work done is uh, nothing but elastic potential energy u so this is capital u and energy density energy density small u so energy density small u is equal to capital u upon volume v so this can be written as capital u is half f dot l by volume can be written as area upon area into length so the energy density u equal to half f by a is stress and l upon l is strain so this is the relation among stress strain elastic potential energy or energy density